Welcome, this is Teacher Jesse, and today we'll be teaching you how to add and subtract similar fractions and mixed numbers. Let's start with the first example. Addition of simple fractions without regrouping using models. We have 3 eighths plus 1 eighth. Since we are going to use models, we will draw first these two fractions. We have 3 eighths, 1, 2, 3 shaded parts out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 parts. And we have also 1 eighth. Then we are going to combine these two shaded parts. We have the three yellow shaded parts and one blue shaded part. Then total of four out of eight shaded parts. Likewise, you can say that three eighths plus one eighth is equal to four eighths. And since four eighths can be reduced into simplest form, then our final answer will be one half. Therefore, three eighths plus one eighth is equal to four eighths or one half. We have the next example, addition of simple fractions without regrouping using models. 2 ninths plus 1 ninth. We have 2 ninths and we have 1 ninth. Combine the shaded parts, we have 3 shaded parts out of 9, it is 3 ninths. And since we can reduce this into lowest terms, the simplest form of 3 ninths is equal to 1 third. As you can see in the diagram, Therefore, 2 ninths plus 1 ninth is equal to 1 third. Example number 3. Addition of simple fractions without regrouping. We have 5 tenths plus 4 tenths. We have 5 tenths and we have 4 tenths. Then combining the shaded parts, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 yellow shaded parts and 1, 2, 3, 4 purple shaded parts. We have 9 out of 10 shaded parts. Since we cannot reduce this in the lowest terms, then it is the final answer. Therefore, 5 tenths plus 4 tenths is equal to 9 over 10. 9 tenths. Example number 4. Addition of simple fractions without a real regrouping that. 3 eighths plus 6 eighths. We have 3 eighths and we have 6 eighths. By combining, we have 1, 2, 3 yellow shaded parts and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Since we need an additional one part, then we are going to draw another box with still 8 equal parts. And we are going to shade this one. And if we are going to count, these are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 shaded parts are equal to 8 over 8 or 1, one whole. And this is 1 8. Therefore, 3 8 plus 6 8 is equal to 1 and 1 8. Example number 5, where we'll proceed to subtraction of simple fractions. We have 7 8 minus 2 8. This is 7 8 and this is 2 8. This time, instead of adding the shaded parts, we are going to take this red part. So by taking Two shade, uh, red shaded parts, then we have the remaining one, two, three, four, five, five shaded parts only. Therefore, it is five eighths. Seven eighths minus two eighths is equal to five eighths. Another example so five sixths minus one sixth. It is one, two, three, four, five, six, okay, five, six, and one sixth. And again, we will take one shaded part. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 shaded parts remaining. And our answer is not yet in the lowest term. So we are going to reduce this and it becomes 2 thirds. Therefore, 5, 6 minus 1, 6 is equal to 2 thirds. From the given examples, we have the general rule. Add or subtract the numerators, then write the sum over the common denominator. For example, 4, 6 plus 1, 6. Just add 4 and 1. 4 plus 1 is equal to 5, and then copy the common denominator, which, which is 6. Another example, 7, 8 minus 4, 8. 7 minus 4 is 3. And then copy the common denominator, which is 8. Okay, this time we are going to proceed to addition of mixed fractions without the regrouping will no longer use models and we will apply the general rule. We have 1 and 3 eighths plus 3 and 1 eighth. Step number 1 is add the whole numbers separately. So 
So we are going to add 1 and 3. The answer is 4. Step number 2. Add the fractions separately. We have 3 eighths plus 1 eighth. It is 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. Copy the common denominator 8. 4 eighths or 1 half. And the last step is combine the sums. We have 4 and we have 1 half. If you combine them, we have 4 and a half. Therefore, 1 and 3 eighths plus 3 and 1 eighth is equal to 4 and 1 half. We have subtraction of mixed numbers without regrouping. 10 and 3 eighths minus 3 and 1 eighth. First, to the same root as steps, rather, we have subtract the whole number separately. We have 10 minus 3 is equal to 7. And then subtract the fraction separately. We have 3 eighths minus 1 eighth. 3 minus 1 is 2. Copy the common denominator, which is 3. Since 2 eighths is not in the simplest form, then we will reduce this. It is 1 fourth. And step number 3 is combine the differences. We have 7 and 1 fourth. The answer is 7 and 1 fourth. Therefore, 10 and 3 eighths minus 3 and 1 eighth is equal to 7 and 1 fourth. Example number 3 is addition of mixed fractions with regrouping. 1 and 7 eighths plus 3 and 4 eighths. We have step number 1, add the whole number separately. We have 1 plus 3 is equal to 4. Step number 2 is add the fraction separately. If you add 7 eighths plus 4 eighths, it will give us 11 my, uh, over 8, which is an improper fraction. So we are going to change this into mixed. We have 1 and as to change this into mix, we have to divide in the numerator by the denominator. 11 divided by 8 is 1, and the remainder is 3, and copy that denominator 8. So it is 1 and 3 eighths. And then, combine the sums, you have 4 and 1 and 3 eighths, and the answer is 5 and 3 eighths. Therefore, 1 and 7 eighths plus 3 and 4 eighths is equal to 5 and 3 eighths. Another example, subtraction of mixed fractions with regrouping. This time it is 10 and 1 8 minus 3 and 3 8. If you are going to observe, you cannot subtract 1 minus 3 because it will give us a negative number. This time we need regrouping. So what are we going to do if we need regrouping? We have step number 1. We borrow one whole from the whole number. Thus, 10 minus 1 is equal to 9. Next is add it to the fraction part, then the rewrite as a new fraction. We have, since 10 minus 1 is 9, we have this 9, and then this 1 and 8, uh, we are going to add 1 whole to this 1 8, it will become 1 8 plus 8 over 8, or in other words, you just add 1 and the, uh, the, numerate, the numerator rather, and the denominator 8, so 1 plus 8 is equal to 9, over the common uh, over the denominator which is eight, so just copy eight. Eight one plus eight is equal to nine. Therefore, this ten and one eight becomes nine and nine over eight. And that is now our new subtraction sentence. We have nine and nine eighths over a uh, minus three and three eighths. And we are going to proceed to the same process. Yes, as presented in the previous examples, we have. 9 and 9 eighths minus 3 and 3 eighths. Subtract the whole number separately. We have 9 minus 3 is equal to 6. And then subtract the fraction separately. This time you can subtract already. 9 minus 3 is equal to 6. And copy the common denominator which is 8. And 6 eighths is not in the simplest form. So we are going to reduce it and it is 3 fourths. Therefore, the answer is 6 and 3 fourths. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you very much.